Where's the bargain? At the swap shop. At the swap shop. At the swap shop. At the swap shop. So I've been wanting to do a video here for a very long time. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, for obvious reasons, I haven't been able to. Um, I'm wondering how this place has been affected by COVID. I know it was shut down for a while. I haven't even been here in like a year. So this is going to be kind of fun. So uh, mind the traffic noises. This is the swap shop. This is a huge flea market here in South Florida. And uh, like I said, I've been wanting to do a video here for a while. And today I feel brave enough to check it out again. They have a little carnival for the kids. Uh, you're going to want to park across the street if you come here because usually it's free. And you get to walk across the catwalk. So that's going to be fun. So uh, let's go in and uh, at the very least I'll show you guys around if I don't find anything. Okay, so here we are, we walked across the street. And uh, over here you can see the uh, little carnival they have for the kids. Uh, fun fact about that Ferris wheel, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got buckets all around it. It's actually water powered. That, well, the day I noticed that was kind of, uh, kind of amusing. All right, so we're going in. Stay six feet apart, wear your mask. Hopefully you can hear me pretty good with my mask on. Gonna be taking all the same precautions I do when I go out anywhere else. This is the interior. They have some shops here and they have uh, collections of all kinds of weird stuff here. None of this is for sale as far as I know. This is this is all just like stuff the owner of the place has. It's looking like a couple of vendors moved out or shut down. There's a couple of them. There's this gift shop here that's been here forever and there's some stuff still around see in here this is just the uh the regular vendors you can buy all kinds of crazy stuff like this metal signs i kind of like that scooby-doo one. Oh, that that dc one's pretty cool too but we're not really here for any of this i don't think i've ever bought anything like inside the swap shop before i usually just go out to the the sellers we're just looking around for now i'm gonna go out in a minute but uh, we'll consider this a tour of the place. If anybody wants to visit South Florida, they can come to the swap shop. It's pretty neat. Come here on a Saturday or Sunday with your friends. It does seem pretty vacant, which is very disconcerting. Uh, oh my God. P Pidget spinners. <laughs> really? Wow. This sign has been here forever. Are these Beyblades? Are these the Beyblade characters? I don't know anything about Beyblade. So here's the main area. Uh, fun fact, this place actually used to have an indoor circus, but um, I guess they don't do that anymore. I don't even remember how long ago that was, but yeah, it's crazy. They used to have like acrobats and stuff, like right in the middle. And there's a bunch of cars here. Apparently the owner is a huge car collector. And uh, we'll look at the car museum in a little bit because there's a car museum here too. Second floor has an arcade, but it looks like everything is turned off. It's a shame. They used to have like the whole second floor used to be arcade machines. Because the again, the, the owner of this place is kind of weird and eccentric. You can see there's like there's like more stuff hanging up over there. Just a collector of things. I kind of respect that. But uh, it's a shame, The uh, looks like the arcade's been shut down because of COVID. Uh, the uh, claw machines appear to be out of order too. I actually tried to do a claw machine video here once, but um, yeah, it didn't go so well. Some of these machines, I don't think they're rigged, but they're just kind of old and non-functional. There's some more arcade cabinets, they're all broken down. We have violence fight, which is Apparently too violent to turn on. Mega Morph Force. I don't think I've even heard of this one. What is this? A werewolf and a dude? I want to play that now. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It's kind of faded though. Uh, Mystic Warriors. Rampage World Tour. X-Men Children of the Atom. There's so many good... There used to be so many more here. But uh, I guess over time they started pulling them. There's some pinball machines. Miss Pac-Man, Soul Calibur. What is this? Strikers, 1945. Arrow Fighters, Aliens, House of the Dead, Batman, Route 66, Street Fighter 2, J 
Championship Edition gaunt oh man, Gauntlet. I, I love Gauntlet. I would love to play this with some buddies, but uh, that ain't happening. It's a pity, like the whole second floor was just nothing but arcade games at one point. But I guess they, uh, maybe over time they just went bad or something. Um, let's go downstairs because there's something else I want to show you. Okay, so here's some cars. Uh, like I said, the owner of the place is kind of a collector of cars. But here's one of the cool things that you can see here. The car from Miami Vice. That's Don Johnson's car. Really cool. I don't know how it got here, but there it is. <laughs> That is a nice car. I don't know. I don't know nothing about cars, but that is a nice looking car. There's a lot of food vendors here too. Every time you come here, you can just smell that potent chicken smell, and it's so good. Anyway, let's go out into the main area here. So here's the outdoor vendors. This is what we're here for. So uh, I like to start on this side. We're gonna just look around, see if we find anything. If not, you know. It was nice to show this place off to people that might not know about it. Like I said, it's pretty cool to come here on a Saturday or Sunday with your buddies. Pick around, see if you find anything good. I have found quite a few good things here before, but sometimes I don't find anything at all. We'll see how this goes. You really never know what you're going to find here. I've seen some weird stuff for sale. I've seen people selling arcade cabinets, so that's was pretty cool. Probably the weirdest thing I ever saw being sold here. Someone was selling a defibrillator machine. <laughs> you know, the little the thing you use to jumpstart people's hearts. <laughs> Wonder if we'll find anything weird today. Oh, we found some toys. Everything on the tables is a dollar. And it's a dollar. Um, don't see anything interesting. But uh, we'll keep looking. I like to take note of who's selling toys and maybe I'll come back to them later so I'm not carrying around a bunch of stuff. Basically I'm here looking for um, you know toys, uh, retro video games. Kind of hard to find stuff like that these days. Got some DVDs here. Got Rugrats in Paris. Got the Droids DVD. Unfortunately I don't really see anything I want or need. We'll keep looking. I'm usually very cautious about buying DVDs here because, you know, they're out in the sun all day and they've been, you know, they've had them for sale for God knows how long and this is Florida. And, you know, things things don't really last too well out in the heat here in Florida. Here's the pet vendor selling birds. Hope they don't leave the birds here all day and all night. Looks like there's less vendors here. Like all that area over there is usually full. I'm guessing most people have uh, tried to avoid the swap shop. There we go, I got some games and DVDs. Again, nothing. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to look at that. Okay, here's something cool. Check out this old iMac. Wow, it's a, it's a purple one. Cool. I'm a PC guy, but uh, Mac stuff, you know. It looks pretty, but eh, not for me. Okay, there's more toys here. Unfortunately, I don't really see anything of interest. Um, there's a Pokemon lunchbox there, so that's pretty cool. Okay, well, that's that side of the swap shop. On this side of the, um, the canopy, much smaller area, but uh, we're now in the bigger area, so hopefully we'll find something good here. Lots of tools. You need tools, you come here. And get all the tools you want axes crowbars hammers machetes oh, sorry machetes oh another fun fact about the swap shop it's also a drive-in movie theater yeah see the big screens all around it's the only drive-in movie theater i've ever been to and we went here when um like before we moved to florida when we were just visiting the movie we went to go see was jingle all the way <laughs> what a great movie to go to the drive-in for am i right not Star Wars, nothing big, just just Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad fighting over an action figure. Man, it's a little warmer than I expected it to be today. I'm actually filming this in February, which is uh, one of the colder months, and this is definitely the time you want to come to the swap shop. You don't want to be here in the summer, because that's just, 
That is just not fun. Little known fact, we in Florida like to refer to June as Hell's Doorstep or Hell's Gate because man, the summers here are brutal. You do not want to be here in the summer. You come during the quote unquote cold months. All right, this booth looks like it has some stuff. I'm gonna poke around and see if we find yeah. anything. There's some games there, but they're all like sports games. Then we have a ravaged Xbox 360 and a couple of um, a couple of original Xbox, but I never had an original Xbox. I don't really plan to get one. The autograph of Keith Jackson. I don't follow sports, so I don't know who that is. Found more DVDs. And I found some VHS tapes. Wow, these are like recording. These are like recorded VHS tapes too. Uh, I don't see anything good. They're kind of kind of dirty and probably they don't work because they've been in the heat for too long. If I'm going to be buying DVDs, they're going to be at like the thrift store or something. You don't want the you don't want them out here. Oh my God, I may have found something I want. Cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. Oh my God, is this does the tape look like? It looks okay. Huh. Well, I got something. <laughs> I've actually been wanting this tape for a long time. I can't believe I just randomly found it here. That goes back to what I was saying. You never know what you're going to find here. That's some more electronics here. There's a PS3 without the cover. But I saw this. Look at this. It's an old RCA camcorder. Probably similar to the one that my dad used to use. I see some plush over there. Don't see anything great. I found vintage plush here before, which is pretty fun to find. Although they're usually in uh, not the best condition. Plush is very hard to keep if you, uh, you know, you have a kid that plays with them all the time. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> I wonder if that was, uh, I wonder if that clown plush was anything special. Who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll look it up later, or maybe someone will tell me, who knows. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Angry Birds, you got Avatar, but I have the full set on Blu-ray, so it's, uh, it's a no for me. Rise of the Guardians, which is a great movie. Sadly does not get the, uh, the love it gets, uh, deserves these days. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly just looking at the DVDs, I'm, not really interested in getting any because like I said you don't you never know with DVDs around here look at this this one's got like moisture inside of it that one don't work anymore let's see if there's any games around here there's a friends box set I see friends box sets all the time nobody wants them let's see there's, oh there's a real Ghostbusters there but these are all like sun bleached so we're not not really interested. The uh, Lone Stitch, one of my favorite Disney movies. It's a shame there is an abundance of stuff here. Unfortunately, not really interested in any of it. Oh, here comes the vendor cart. <laughs> you want a drink or something? You stop the cart. You get beer too. I don't know if that's the best thing to be drinking while in the Florida in the florida heat but you can get it tootsie rolls tin we got more dvds here this 101 dalmatian sequel the green inferno which is a horrible movie and uh, a bunch of odds and ends here you got a megatron from mcdonald's from the movie or maybe that was from transformers prime i couldn't tell very similar designs downgraded into mcdonald's level of uh toy There's some comics here a couple of more dvds and but, hey the original land before time so that's something transformer iron man spider-man uh, dan marino wheaties box i wonder if that cereal is any good there's some more toys here and i don't see anything oh there's a Jungle Book right there. Is How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing standing out to me. This is a good place to come if you collect fast food toys because there's usually piles and piles of them. 
because they're so mass produced. Our friend Martin, the soundtrack, I actually have a VHS of that. And uh, we have what I think is Duck Dynasty. There's a lot of Duck Dynasty merchandise and no one wants it. There's some more toys, nothing special. There's a, that's a pretty cool Buzz Lightyear actually. I've never seen that one before. A glossy uh, finish to them. Come on, man. I don't want that, that Cartoon All-Stars VHS to be the only thing I get here. It's a Simpsons box set. Unfortunately, it's in a bit of a state. What is this? What is this? Blockbuster Preview Video Collection. It's on here. Passion of the Christ. <laughs> so you can preview Jesus getting whipped and beaten. Well, uh, I found this. For a dollar, huh? <laughs> Worth it. But there's a lot of people that would make good use of those. All right, stay focused. I don't want that VHS to be the only thing I buy here today. But like I said, some days it's just, you know, just like that. So, uh, we'll see. There's still plenty of vendors left. There's still a whole other section that way that we haven't been to yet. So see what we find it is a bit sad i do have to admit because having been coming here for years you can tell that things are a bit lackluster mostly because of the pandemic it's a shame really well i walked across all those other vendors i didn't see anything so now we move on to the final third of the outdoor vendors and uh, hopefully we'll find something here this is another small section we went through the big section already so uh, over here by movie movie theater 12 and 13, or movie screen 12 and 13. There's a lot of music blasting too. I gotta be careful, I don't get any copyright claims. G.I. Joe Masterpiece Editions. These are cool, these are like the giant G.I. Joes, like the old school ones. Really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have any room for any of those. I had one a long time ago, but I sold it. Another weird trend I've noticed with the uh, flea markets is that you can get like sundries and shampoo and cleaning fluid. And it's like this vendor is selling juice. Like, what? Why would you come here to do your grocery shopping? Let's go to Publix or Win Dixie. I'd rather go to Win Dixie than Swap Shop. For groceries at least all right this is the last row this is pretty much our last chance of uh finding anything good i don't really have a good feeling about this but uh, we'll have a look around uh, some pictures there's a fish tank some scattered toys in there nothing really Nothing really striking my interest, unfortunately. I don't think we're gonna find anything good. Hey, toilet paper, you can finally get toilet paper. All right, it looks like that's it for the outdoor vendors. Um, there's usually like two more rows here, but uh, as you can see, it's, it's a ghost town. Well, that's a shame. All right, well, I think we're done shopping for now. Um, we'll go look at a couple other things and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, so over here is the car museum. So let's uh, go in there and take a look. Do this as a little uh, little bonus. They had some uh, custom golf carts here, but this is uh, this right here is what you want to see. Look at that. I guess this tells you what kind of car it is. It's an Enzo and Ferraris. There's some really cool cars in here. Again, I'm not a car person, but they definitely look cool. Let's do a quick pan over here. I thought that was a guy standing there. <laughs> and here's some more on the other side. Very nice. Corvette. There's a Ford GT. That's a nice one. Convertible. Yeah. Branded, swap shop branded convertible Ferrari. 
And there they go. There's some more over here. We'll take a quick look. Got a 1987 Ferrari. Wow. That is a tiny car. For anybody that likes cars, there you go. Okay, and our last stop is here at this uh, game dealer who's playing copyrighted music, so I have to talk over it constantly. Um, the games here are not in the best shape. They've, uh, yeah, they've clearly been sitting here for a very long time in the Florida heat, and uh, they're in a bit of a state. They actually used to have like a whole bunch of NES and SNES games too, but they all they all got ravaged by the sun, and one day they were just all gone. So I'm assuming you just tossed them. And if uh, if Pat the NES punk were to ever see this, he'd probably have a heart attack. But uh, there's some there's some stuff here in cases, stuff some things that don't look too bad. Uh, we've got uh, yeah, there's the best game of them all. We've got uh, some N64 games there. A couple of other random stuff here. So there's like eh, there's probably some stuff here that's good. There's Super Nin Super. Oh, that's not even a that's not even a Super Nintendo classic. That's a bootleg. Wow. It's a shame. This booth used to be really good, but I guess uh, collectors just kind of fell out, and uh, all the games got got ravaged and all these are the games nobody wants and now they're all junk all right well i think we're done here uh we found one thing so that's pretty good some days uh you know you come here better than others uh you know lately it's been more difficult but you know how it is some days you find some good stuff and some days you don't that's uh that's just how it be all right one last look at the big weird collection of stuff that's right by the entrance here there's a popcorn machine it's a carousel horse. There's uh, this thing, which is kind of cool looking. I guess it's like a little mini horse racing game. I like this dragon, but unfortunately it's broken. And a giant banjo, because why not? A tiger head and all kinds of cool stuff. All right. Okay, let's go to the car. Oh, God. Slurt inside the mask. And my hair's a mess, too. Okay, well, unfortunately, uh, there wasn't a whole lot there today. Uh, I kind of was expecting that to be the case because, you know, of things that are happening right now. Um, but we did find this, so that's something. I've always wanted this tape, so there you go. Cartoon All-Stars to the rescue. I don't know if it works still. It looks like it's in good condition, but, uh, you know, you can find it online. So this is, this is mostly just for collector value. Um, it is a little bit grimy. Uh, I will have to... Um, clean this when I get home although the the plastic wrap is still like on it like on the sleeve so maybe I'll either take that off or maybe I'll try to clean it better I don't know I'll, I'll wait till I get home uh, I don't think it's anything unsanitary I think it's just debris from the swap shop oh god I look terrible <laughs> um but yeah we found that uh usually find um good stuff there but unfortunately uh yeah it's kind of kind of dry right now so uh um maybe we'll come back if people liked this video i'd like to do more of these uh maybe uh you know do more going out of the house and do, doing like thrift stores and flea markets and stuff but uh uh let me know if you want to see more of this kind of thing uh i definitely have been wanting to do stuff like this but uh of course it has been very difficult but um uh, things seem to have somewhat stabilized right now so maybe we'll do more of that stuff all right well thank you very much for watching uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out my other videos and i will see you later